Hello, folks, ladies, gentlemen, all you people out there. Jeremy is here with another unboxing. We are going back into the realm of Q Ranger because we have our power up device for the season. This is the Psycho Psycho Qtama, which Psycho, you know, I've I've heard of different translations. Basically, it's like best super that sort of type of thing. Um, but this Qtama is uh, recently debuted. It's basically the power of the Orion system, and it combines the Orion and Shishi, which is the lion, you know, Red Ranger's lion. And it's a power up where he can utilize um, the powers of all nine core Q Rangers. And you look at the box here, and you can see on the side, there's all nine Rangers together, and they combine, and it gives the Red Ranger a nice white costume, which I have to say, um, seen it debut last week, it is quite possibly my favorite power-up costume that I've probably ever seen. It's simple, it follows the trend, it utilizes all the different Ranger colors with just a little bit of hint of color. Um, it has a nice little flowing, not a full cape, but it's just, you know, it's simple is better um, in my estimation. And for me, it actually reminds me of, if you don't remember the show Ronin Warriors, where the five different uh, colored armor warriors, there was uh, red, blue, purple, green, and orange, they would combine and the Red Ranger would get, not Red Ranger, Red Warrior w would get white armor. Um, so that's what I'm, that sort of vibe I'm getting from this. Um, it's not a super big item, not super expensive. Um, it's big compared to other Qtamas, um, but it's about 20, 25 bucks depending on where you go. Um, and again, there's some gorgeous artwork of all the Rangers up top. There he is on the side. I showed you all of them on the other side and nothing really on the bottom but then the back it just again it shows a little demonstration of the Qtama. So let's crack this open and see exactly how it works. Give it a nice slice and open it up. Ta-da! Put our box right there. Not a lot to it. Just one piece of cardboard. We will pop this out. I wasn't sure if I needed batteries or not. Um, there's a little tab here, which keeps it working. Let's see. Well, so yeah, that is a pretty hefty deal. Um, it definitely has some weight behind it. I'd say it's a good, you know, half a pound or so, um, give or take. And it does go in the uh, changer. Let's check the instructions and see what sort of information it has here. Okay, so I the batteries I assume are already in there, but it takes three um, of the small little circular batteries, um, LR44 if you're wondering out there. So we will turn this bad boy on, the little button on the side. So that's the same basic sound that it makes, um, the, mor the morpher does, let's turn that on too. Exactly the same sound. Um, I will notice this is a darker red than the changer, actually. That's interesting. Slightly darker shade of red. Oh, and it's Qtama number 315. I'm sure there's some sort of pun out there that explains why it's 315. I'm not sure. If anybody knows, let me know. I'm sure I'll figure it out sooner than later. Um, so let's see what happens if we just put it in here. Psycho Qtama. Oh. Well, how does it work then? Oh. Okay, I guess they that's them trying to say Orion. Um, so basically, you put it in there, and that still activates. You know, it, it recognizes that that's the Qtama that's in there, and it activates it. But you're not pushing it forward to change, and then hitting the trigger button to execute it. 
you're just double tapping the button on top that's actually built into it. So that's a difference. Let's see what else we can notice here, guys. Um, so, what, and obviously you saw that it has nine different colors for the nine different rangers in the middle of it. Um, it looks like we're going to get different sounds by the number of times we hit the button and then spin it. Um, let's see what else we can do. So I think what it is is you is you know each ranger is a number one through nine, and the number of times you hit it is the is which ranger you're gonna get. So let's try that out. Um, chameleon is seven. Let's try seven. Oops. I guess it didn't restart because I'd already hit it twice and then I hit it seven more times, so I actually got nine. But so it actually calls out their different um, names, which are all kind of puns on the word star. So Food My Star, um, Shinobi Star, stuff like that. Let's see if holding it down does anything. Interesting. Um, it actually does look like pulling the trigger can do things. Um, let's see. Um, hmm. Okay, um, see this is always the weirdest thing is because when you get an item like this and you haven't watched reviews online, you're just doing it by yourself, and I don't read Japanese, numbers and arrows don't necessarily tell you everything that is available. Um, hmm. Let us see. Okay, so it does say step one is to put it in there, um, hit the button once. Hit the button. That might be all there really is to it. There could be other stuff, and I and I could easily be m missing it. Oh, there's the docking. Hit it again. Orion, Orion Battler is, I believe, it's the last mecha that hasn't been released yet. It's a giant. Um, kind of bluish gold sort of mecha because you use typically at the end of the series if you're doing more individual uh, mecha and you're not just adding on to the previous ones there's always one like giant big one at the end and that's what we're going to be getting for it um i don't really think it actually combines with other stuff i could be mistaken but that's that so let me if i hit it again that's the attack galaxy is always an attack does one more do anything? Nope, we're back to changing. Oh, that was kind of some ninja stuff. Okay, so that's what's cool is that it really does recognize the different lights for the different rangers and the sounds for each of the nine rangers are very unique. Like they're not just um, switching out names. They're actually adding some more to it, which I think is really, really cool and really um, individualizing this piece as opposed to just making it an add-on. Um, other than that, man, I don't know. I, I know I'm missing something with this. Um, and someone's probably going to tell me or I'm going to be doing some research on my own later on and I might add some more stuff in the comments of this video in the description if I do figure out more. But I mean overall I'm still very impressed with this piece. I think it's a really um, unique way to um, add extra power to the series. Now I actually personally would like to see another series where we really get um, special power up modes for every ranger. That would be nice. 
But if you're just going to do the Red Ranger, you know, as opposed to like crazy Arnable, oh, no, blah, blah, blah. Arnable, I was actually trying to say Carnival Armor. Carnival Armor in Karujer, or that weird train armor in Tokyujer that they would just switch out with. Like, I think this is one of the better designed, better executed, better concepts for a power-up that we've seen in a long time. I'm just going to play around a little bit more, and I think that's going to be about it, guys. I'm going to see if anything else will happen. Let me see. That doesn't do anything. Does it do anything when it's not in there? What the? Excuse me? Did this thing just say, what's up? I forgot about that. I had actually watched the episode, heard them say that, and then forgot about it. Say what says the t attack? Let's try one more. Hear it again. Yeah. Again, she should read Orient. It's just weird. Anyway, all right. Anyway, um, guys, again, I'm, I said before, this is about a twenty to twenty-five dollar item, depending on where you buy it online, and then obviously there's shipping, depending on um, how fast you want it and where you're located. But I would say this is a very, very good item. Very fun. Like I said before, very unique. Instead of getting an entire new changer or a repaint of an old changer, this is a really cool uh, concept, and I'm digging it. And like again, with with Q Ranger in general. I've said this before, but I haven't talked about it in a while, but I'm still really loving the show. I'm not going to say it's like some, like the most amazing Sentai of all time, but compared to a lot of the seasons we've had uh, as of late, it really feels fresh. Uh, it's a very much a unique take. It's uh, one of those shows where each episode tends to flow into the next one. It isn't just like one episode stuff. I mean, it kind of is on one hand. On the other hand, it still then leads into something new. So yeah, I haven't been checking out Q Ranger, and really, if you haven't, why are you watching these videos? Um, I really, really recommend it. I think it's fantastic. I think the toys are some of the best we've had in years to go along with that. And that is going to be it for me, guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this review. As always, please like the video, comment, subscribe to this channel, ring the bell to be notified of my new videos. And the best thing you can do for me, as always, is to share this video with your friends and your family and people who like glowing balls. You might know someone like that. They might be into some weird things. I'm not here to judge. That's not what I do. Just let them see this sort of thing, you know? And just don't, you know, let them think about me in that way. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I'm Jeremy, a.k.a. Captain Subpar, saying to you forever and always, till the end of space, hey, I am going to be King of the Geeks. Like check out the check out the logo. I think the logo's cool. Superstar! Fancy.